everyone! In this tutorial, I'll show you an alternate method for cutting out your photos. If your photo's got a simple background, then I'd highly recommend cutting it out in Cutout Studio. This is a dedicated studio environment where you can separate the subject of your photo from its background. However, Cutout Studio works best when there are only one or two regions to be cut out. If your photo's got lots of separate regions, like in this example, it's going to be really difficult and time consuming to cut out in Cutout Studio. Instead, I'll show you an easier way, cutting out by colour. This technique works by selecting colours in the background, which are removed. We'll remove the background from this photo and then add a new one. To begin, Open your photo in the workspace. First, promote your photo to a layer. To do this, right click the layer that contains your photo on the Layers tab and choose Promote to Layer. Name your layer Cut Out and click OK. Next, open the Select menu and click Colour Range. In the dialog, select the Colour Picker tool and check the Show Selection box. This shows the pixels in white, which will be selected for the cutout. First I'll click once in the sky area. You can see in the preview that some of the pixels have been chosen. Now, I'll add more colours to the selection by choosing the Add Colour tool. To get a good colour selection across the background, I'll click it a few times in various places. If your photo has a background with lots of different colours, you can click with the mouse and drag across the photo to select a whole range of colours at once. Let's look at the selection a little closer. Choose the zoom tool and then zoom in to a small selection of the image. Then, from the preview drop down list, choose overlay. It's good, but there are still lots of pixels left. To select these, we'll increase the smoothness by clicking and dragging the slider. A value of about 20 works well for this photo, but you can experiment until you find one that works the best for you. You can see that much more of the background colour is now removed. I'm happy with this selection, so I'll click OK. Now we'll delete the background colours. To do this, open the Edit menu and then click Cut. You'll see the background has been replaced with the white and grey checkerboard background. This indicates transparency. Finally, hold down the Control key, CTRL on your keyboard and click D to deselect the outline. We've finished the cutting out part but now I'm going to add a new background to this image. First, let's add a new layer. Click the New Layer button on the Layers tab. Name the layer Colour and click OK. You could choose a colour from the Colour tab or take one from your image. To do this on the Tools toolbar, I'll select the Colour Picker and then choose a colour. I'd like to apply a gradient fill, so I'll expand the Fill Tools flyout and choose Gradient Fill. If you want to, you can change the gradient on the Context toolbar, but I'm going to leave this one as linear. To apply this fill, simply click and drag on the photo. As you can see, my photo is no longer visible, so on the Layers tab, I'm going to drag this layer underneath the layer containing my photo. That's better! To edit the colour of the fill, click the colour sample on the context toolbar. OK, now we'll choose a colour pointer. It's important to choose the pointers below the colour bar. These are the ones that change the colour. The top ones change the opacity. I'll double click the left hand colour pointer first and then enter the RGB values from the colour on the colour tab into these boxes. 
Then click OK and OK again to close the dialog. To apply the colour fill, simply click and drag on the photo again like we did before. I want to change the other colour in the gradient, so I'll start by sampling another one from the image. Next, I'll choose the gradient fill tool from the tools toolbar and then click on the colour sample. Now we'll do the same as before. Double click the right hand colour pointer and enter the RGB values. Finally, to apply the full gradient, click and drag on the photo. As you can see, some traces of the image have been left behind, but don't worry because it's really easy to remove this. First, make sure that the layer containing your image is selected in the Layers tab. Then, simply select the standard eraser tool, set your brush size if required, and brush over the image. That's it! I hope you've enjoyed learning how to cut out by colour and seeing the ways that your photo can be enhanced by adding a new background. For more information, see the Help, the How To tab, or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching!